Yeah, it looks like you got a, a whole nice bag full of stuff for me. Yeah, make so, sure to bring my bag of tricks. Yeah, yeah. What do you got in there? What are your What are your weapons of choice? I think let's start with the weapons. Uh, I'm a slugger guy. Have been for a while, so I got the the signature on the uh, on the barrel there. How many I'm, times did you practice it before you got it right? You know what? I I had probably two or three tries, but once you get it, you know. And the uh, I-13HL has been my model for a while. Mm -hmm. I've always swung it lefty. I've kind of bounced around right-handed. Yeah. Um, done red barrels before, but I went back to the black barrels at the end of last year. So I do, this one's the, uh, this is the 34. Uh -huh. That's the, the lefty's a 34. Kind of drop. 31.4. Yeah, it's kind of dropped two and a half. So I try to, I put it at 31.5 and then wherever it falls, Clubhouse guys weigh them for me because they're the best. Yeah. Uh, wow. And then this is the the righty model. You can see it's the same HL, uh, but this one's a 33 and a half. So. So just a tenth. Oh, okay. So a half an inch. Half an inch. Start from the right side. Yeah. And why why is that? And then it's and then it's a drop. Uh, it's only one. It's only two uh, and a quarter drop. So they're pretty similar in weight. So like these are the same weight you can see, yeah. but but they're uh, a half inch different. Uh, for me, I just I like that feeling righty uh, of a little bit shorter bat. I got kind of more barrel control right-handed. So to be able to to not get long, not get back, um, that's a big thing for me. I started doing it kind of August last year and had a lot of success with it. So we're gonna ride it out this year. But the I thirteen HL from Slugger. That's that's the weapon. From right and left side, like I, I remember uh, Chipper Jones, obviously one of the greats, maybe the best switch hitter. I think he, I just remember him talking about like he tried to be a mirror. Yeah. Uh, is that is that true for every switch hitter, or is it different? Yeah, I think different guys go about it different ways. For me, like they feel very uh, they feel very different. Like the feelings, the way my body moves, one way and the other. So I try to kind of separate them. I try to do make them completely different swings and if something's working for me lefty i try to not <laughs> reproduce it righty because it probably won't work that way really so let's see so it isn't the same for every guy no. um what what else you got what else hey, you let's got move on to the uh to the gloves rawlings this year for me so i got a couple uh i love that color a couple of choices oh wow uh these ones are pretty cool yeah a lot of uh the chicago flag has been a big inspiration for me uh in my stuff with the baby blue. So I've been incorporating a lot of uh, baby blue for the last couple years, whether it's cleats, batting gloves, and now into the gloves. So these, so you, are, these you are pretty cool. You got a single post there. I do. This is, I've never had, I've never tried this before. It's a little bit different. It's the... Uh, really nice job on the colors. Yeah, appreciate really that. Like it. The 3039. Uh -huh. It's good. I like this one. It's, a, it's actually a little bit almost like the fingers are a little longer pockets not quite as deep as the other one uh -huh. but i love the way the color turned out yeah me too really cool that uh that brown is, is di the yeah. brown and blue combo was risky but it, it was it, pulled it, it was risky the philly's been pulling it off for a while so i thought True. maybe True. the uh but this is this is probably the gamer i'm gonna say after a couple weeks of, of spring i think that's the gamer pro 303 preferred yeah this one's got it's got the uh no strings over here so the the fingers go really well looks so Into sick that i yeah. really like that color i think that i think that's the right choice as much as i like that one too maybe maybe in a couple years yeah I don't know, it'll be a gamer but this one looks this one you have to game yeah this, this one's pretty good back uh, with rawlings first time i'm back with rawlings since 2018 so i'm excited to be back yeah with them and uh I've tried both. I've done the Heart of the Hide and the Pro Preferred. This one feels really good. There's actually, they took half of the palm out. Uh -huh. So it's pretty flexible in the palm, which feels really good, pretty light. Wow. So you had so half of the, like, the padding? The half of the pad in the palm, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, very, it's very nuanced, these gloves, aren't they, they? Yeah, they get very specific they, for us, which we appreciate. Yeah, and you can do whatever you want with it. Yeah. So, um, Pro Preferred, okay, is that a Heart of the Hide? This is a Heart of the Hide. So this is a Heart of the Hide. That's a Pro Preferred. And then, We've got the infield glove inside, which is uh, another pro preferred. What do you do? You have any any preference for the for the two, or or do you? Have... No, I think I, I it's like throughout. I was always a Rawlings guy growing up, uh -huh. and like I kind of always lean towards Heart of the Hide, mm -hmm. but I think uh, it kind of depends on the model, infield, outfield. 
Um, and kind of what, what piece of leather you get that year. Like, this Pro Preferred feels so good. Best thing for glove I ever have is a Pro Preferred that I used in 17. It was uh, like a little tan eye web. So this uh, this one's gonna be the one. Do you have any emergency, like a, uh, an infield uh, glove? I do, I have an emergency infield glove. It's not broken in yet. Yeah. <laughs> we have to, around here we try to give it to somebody. Uh, Jonathan Moda is our infield coach. Yeah. So like first day I was like, here, go get him. And he broke this one in for me. So I'll do the same with the infield glove. We'll give it to him. He'll get it all broken in, but. A lot of guys would, would I mean, I know they wouldn't do that. I know it's I've like always sacrilegious. I've always been a like break my own glove in so like I took the gamer and broke this one in Yeah, and then the other two I was like all right Right because you guys I mean you can only break in so many especially with the short camp. Time. Yeah a short camp with we, we got here on the 10th or 11th and yeah. we had to break these gloves in in two weeks for opening day. So it was like you Gotta find a way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah um, Well Let's, Let's Great job. Uh, appreciate what, that. what about the inscription? I see yeah, rolling this sevens. One? Is that is that something that you can tell yeah, me? Yeah, rolling that sevens is? is kind of an inside thing, me and a couple of the guys. Uh, the casino always wins, so casino's the same every day. They always win, so you gotta be out there rolling sevens, making sure that you're just being consistent every single day. That's, That's the meaning awesome. of that one. That's awesome. Alright, and uh, what else you got? Let's go to the uh, let's go to batting gloves real quick. So a little pine tar stick for you. The uh, I'll show like kind of the basic batting glove, and then so this is the Bruce Bolt this year, new for me. Cool. Um, these are the ones I've been using for BP. A little beat up right now, but they're holding together well. Yeah, I mean that's what stands out to me is that they look like overbuilt. Like, yeah, they're. I mean, their construction quality is awesome. Like they have these kind of inserts like this is the first year of my career I haven't got any blisters on my hands during really during uh, the start so like really good construction in there to protect the thumb and the index and then this is like where I usually get worn out pretty bad yeah uh, and so that construction has kept me really solid this year yeah I mean that's I, I think I think a lot of kids like they run through batting gloves so yeah, quickly yeah, that, yeah. you know that's, that's how I've always been I've always been a guy that like runs through a pair every couple days um, because they ripped up or like my hands so that's these ones are keeping together really well. Bruce Bolt. So that and that's Bruce you Bolt. said that's a new one for yeah, you. Yeah, it's new for me. I think I saw Harrison Bader rock. Yeah, them Bader's too. been rocked them too. So the uh, I guess before uh, this is these are my custom ones. Before I get into that, like this is I picked this one up from Javi Baez, the uh, the hand guard. Oh wow. So I rock that under the batting gloves. Oh okay. Keep that. It keeps this fresh from getting anything, but it's also like. It's just become comfortable for me. Yeah. And then I rock the uh, I rock the pro hitter too. I cut it out, so like these things come and they're pretty hard, and uh, so I take scissors to it and just thin it out. Wow, that's I mean, you're really like on on the very minute details of these things. It's yeah. Clear that that's. It's all got to feel right for me. Right. Right. So and these are. Oh wow. These are my customs for the year. We're, we're going with the baby blue theme. Fire. Those are sick. The uh, Chicago flag definitely so. got that Chicago flag look to it. Yeah. yeah, sick. How about the inside of the? Uh, so the and the yeah. palm is gray on these bad boys. Same construction. Uh, we actually moved the we moved this over a little bit so that the the strap sits uh, a little better for my wrist. But uh -huh. everything else on the construction of the gloves is the same. They feel awesome. Um, and then How was it working with that company? They're a pretty young company. Yeah, pretty, they're awesome. They were started by, by a young kid. Yeah, they were started by a young kid when he was in high school. Um, and he actually lives in Austin, Texas, very close to where I do. Uh, so it's really cool like to get to work with them. Uh, he's, he's in college right now, which is crazy, but the family does a great job. Um, I went and sat down with them this off season and was able to kind of talk through what I want to do, the process, you know, building these things together. and. Um, we worked on, on getting it right, and it's been a really cool process to be a part of. And these things are sweet. They're the best best uh, colors I've put together so far in my career. So they are sweet, about them. and they're they're going to stand out too. Like I think you're going to yeah. get a lot of compliments on those. Do you yeah. have a? Do you will you have an away? Yeah, I'll have a I'll like? have a, like a standard gray. You know, they haven't released it yet, but um, you know, hopefully by the middle of the year, I'll have kind of a standard gray away pair to rock. Uh, and then I'll be rocking these at home. And these with the uh, Wrigleyville jerseys will be pretty sweet too with those uh, navies. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
pumped about those. Nice. Bruce Bolt, that's I think that's the first on what pro on the on what pros really to get that feature. That's nice. I like those. I'll go into some of the uh, some of the little side things that I'm that I rock. Yeah. I, I do the uh, I do the G form. Okay. I'm a G form elbow guy. Uh, what do you like about that? I like the way it bends and that it, it like it slides on. Yeah, I've always enjoyed that. I've never been big into the um, Evo Shield because I don't like the straps. Yeah, yeah. But I like the way that this this slides on. It feels more like a sleeve. So I always kind of got into the G form a couple years ago and been way into it. Where yeah. there's sliders too. So I don't know if the became the MLB official this year or not, but I've seen so many G forms that like. The, there was one thing at spring training this year that I've seen, you see more, a lot of I've seen a lot of more G form than I'm used to. So um, it seems like a lot of people are starting to figure out that that like slip on. Yeah, um, they do an awesome job because it's not rigid, so you still feel like you have all that flexibility. Yeah, and it feels like you're not really wearing it, but it gives you that extra bit of protection. Yeah, yeah. Um, Just, I, only, I only wear it lefty. I don't wear it righty. Oh. Um, but I don't know something with that right arm and that feel for me. Yeah. Uh, I really like it. When you're protecting your throwing arm too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I cool. got I got dinged pretty Pat Connaughton actually. Pat Connaughton plays for the Milwaukee Bucks now, but he was a pitcher at Notre Dame when I was in college. <laughs> I was a freshman. And he hit me with like 95 right on the elbow, and I couldn't throw for the whole weekend. And I was like, I'm scarred from it now. Yeah. Well, I mean, at this point, like, if you guys aren't protecting yourself with stuff like that, I think you're insane because. These guys throw so hard, oh, man. Every, everything is Humans aren't designed plus. to be getting hit by baseballs going on. Yeah. Right. I got the uh, I got the two arm sleeves oh, cool. for this year. Oh, wow. I got I got some red, too, but these are the two, the Bruce Bolt arm sleeves that I'm rocking. The bay blue nice. and the royal. We'll kind of mix those in as we go. I like to do arm sleeve on the right and then tape the left wrist, so kind of mix those around is it is it for just for the the, the aesthetic or is there a functional benefit to the conversion? uh yeah I, I put some hot stuff on my arm so I like to have that covered up huh. so that's that's kind of I, I like the compression on the elbow and those the look, and the forearm for me those look real nice I like them a lot big big one for me is true socks you've seen these before I have what, what's the story I'm on into them? the true socks these things they got the grips on the feet yeah uh, and they're just way more they're kind of thick but they're way more comfortable than any sock I've worn so found these kind of my first year I think in 17 uh -huh. and I'm all in now I'm true sock only I can't wear anything else they give you whatever the standard socks are yeah it feels like my feet are sliding around the cleats yeah and I, like I can't do it. like on the special days when you have to wear your socks up yeah they'll provide you with whatever the socks are and I I can't wear them yeah, that, I'm that's... I'm stuck on the true sock game. I mean, I, I remember Miguel Cabrera, I think, was the first yeah. to be to, yeah. that I saw. I know uh, Lindor I, was also wearing those, so there's clearly something to them. Yeah, I do Lowe's, too. I do that. And they stick to the shoe. Is it yeah, they just give you a little bit of traction in the shoe, so yeah. way cool. into these, way into the cool. trues. It's good. You got a good... Well, thank you for bringing all this Yeah, I got the... Uh, this, is cool. this is new for me this year. We're going to see how it goes. I got the, the small mitt. Uh-huh. We'll see how that one goes. So you were head first slider, is that or? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I like to go head first, and like I, I put my hand down behind me too when I slide. Mm -hmm. So try not to get like all dug up because I don't wear batting gloves on the when I run the bases. So yeah, you, know, you you get a couple slides and you dig your hand up, you start can just wear on you over the season. So yeah, 162. We're gonna see how that goes this year. <sighs> let's see, let's see. Did you know? Do you know what? Um, uh, brand that this is the um is it Benick? Yeah yeah it is Benick. Call these are Benick. I've tried another one in the past that I like but we're gonna see how this one goes. Yeah that one looks good. Yeah that's Benick. Um alright I think last thing we'll do is coffee. Sweet. These are some other Bruce Bolts that are the kind of the, the whites with the gray. Yeah they're sitting in the bottom of the bag but these ones are sweet. Yeah, so they got a simple design and it's 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 distinctive, you know. I think those will be growing in popularity. This is always in the locker. I know we're doing a what's in the bag, but this I thought I'd break something out from the locker. This counts for sure. Connect, Connect Roasters is out of uh, out of Chicago land area, a little bit south of the city. We've been working together since 2020, so um, I always keep the good coffee with me. I'm a huge coffee drinker, big fan of, of single origin stuff. So 
this stuff is in the clubhouse for the boys. Uh, make sure everybody's got good coffee in the morning, and then you know, I'm doing pour over before I come to the park. So that's a that's a good teammate. Yeah, we got the we got the uh, Congo, which is a really really good light roast, and then the Guatemala, um, which is kind of a medium roast that. Uh, really really good for kind of the daily drinker a lot of people seem to enjoy that so yeah so like are you uh do you have to like on a game day how many cups of coffee are you going to be having i mean i'm one to two in the morning before i come to the park and then uh for like the day game like the yeah. Wrigley day game ritual i'm usually i make one in the morning have it uh i'll put one in it to go bring it in and then uh, i'm kind of sipping on that while i'm getting my my morning routine going uh maybe hit one more but that's a little aggressive you don't want to be palpitating too bad <laughs> all right this that was fantastic i cool. if you have time for maybe a uh, fan question yeah 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 okay. oh the other thing i wanted to hit was this uh this shirt so this is obvious shirts uh -huh. out of chicago these are uh the boys that, that hook the team up with all of our all of our sayings all of our custom shirts we wear when we're out there uh, we actually have a store coming right next to Wrigley this year. Yeah. Um, so obvious shirts, those guys uh, supply us all year, so we appreciate them. Cool, cool. My uh, my fan question yeah, yeah. is actually I'll have two if you don't mind. So the first one is from Sammy Bammy one two nine, and Sammy says, "What is your favorite snack?" Favorite snack? That's a really good one. Um, we used to do these protein balls in the clubhouse our nutritionist would make, and they were like. Uh, Kind of like a peanut butter granola mix. I would crush those all day. <laughs> peanut butter granola. Okay, yeah. That's. I've heard like somebody was telling me uh, like a banana peanut butter honey sandwich. Wow. Yeah. That's aggressive. That was. Yeah, that was a lot. Um, all right, and the final question is from Colton, and Colton wants to know. I know we're not in the clubhouse right now, but if you could pick one item from the clubhouse that isn't yours, is it mine? That wow. you could have. There's a lot of need some swag in the clubhouse. A lot of swag in the clubhouse. So, we lost a little bit of swag too, losing Javi at KB oh, man, had some swag. Um, let me see, if there's one thing that I'm taking from the clubhouse, I'm going Jason Hayward, his glove, with the, uh, the gold, the Rawlings gold glove. His gloves are sick, he's been doing it forever, and he's got a bunch of gold, so I'm taking one of those for good luck. All right, well. Maybe, I mean, there's always, now Now you're in Rawlings, there's always the Yeah, there's always a chance you could put some gold on that. Put some gold on yourself. Thanks, Ian. Appreciate it.